Hello friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on subplots. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create and switch between subplots. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, Python 3.4.3, IPython 5.1.0 To practice this tutorial, you should know how to run basic Python commands on the IPython console, use plots interactively, embellish a plot. If not, see the prerequisite Python tutorials on this website. Let us first open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. Now type IPython3 and press Enter. Let us initialize the PyLab package. Type percentage PyLab and press Enter. To compare two plots, we draw the plots in the same plotting area. Let us now create two plots, a cosine plot and an exponential curve in the same plotting area. Type x is equal to lin space inside brackets 0, 50, 500 and press enter. Plot inside the brackets x, cos x. Type y is equal to lin space inside brackets 0, 5, 100 plot inside brackets y comma y square here the two plots have different regular axes so we cannot draw overlaid plots in such cases we can draw subplots we use subplot command to accomplish this type clf subplot inside brackets 2 comma 1 comma 1 we can see the first subplot the subplot command takes three arguments the first argument is the number of rows of subplots that must be created here the first argument is 2 to split the plot horizontally the second argument is the number of columns of subplots that must be created. Here, the second argument is 1. So, plot will not split vertically. The last argument specifies the serial number for the subplot. Here, we passed 1 as the argument, which creates the upper subplot. If we execute the subplot command as subplot inside the brackets 2 comma 1 comma 2 the lower subplot is created here we can see now two subplots now we can draw plots in each of the subplot area using the plot command type subplot inside brackets 2 comma 1 comma 1 plot inside brackets x comma cos x now type subplot inside brackets 2 comma 1 comma 2 plot y comma y square this created two plots one in each of the subplot area the top subplot holds a cosine curve and the bottom subplot holds a parabola. It is clear from the two subplots that both have different regular axes. For the cosine curve, x-axis varies from 0 to 50 and y-axis varies from minus 1 to 1. For the parabolic curve, x-axis varies from 0 to 5 and the y-axis varies from 0 to 25. Now clear the plot window. 
Pause the video, try this exercise and then resume the video. Pressure, volume and temperatures are held by the equation PV is equal to NRT, where NR is a constant. Assume NR is equal to 0 0.01 joules per Kelvin and T is equal to 200 Kelvin, V can be in the range from 21 cc to 100 cc. Draw two different plots as subplots. Pressure versus volume plot and pressure versus temperature plot. Switch to the terminal for the solution. To start with, we have been given the range of volume from which we can define the variable V. V is equal to Lin space inside brackets 21 comma 100 comma 500. We can create first subplot and draw pressure versus volume graph using this V. Subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1. Plot V comma 2.0 by V. We know that NRT is a constant which is equal to 2. Since NR is equal to 0 0.01 joules per Kelvin and T is equal to 200 Kelvin. Now we can create the second subplot and draw pressure versus temperature plot as follows. Subplot 2, 1, 2. Plot 200, 2.0 divided by V. We have an error now telling X and Y dimensions don't match. So, we will create same number of points for temperature. Type T is equal to Lin space inside brackets 200 comma 200 comma 500. Now, we have 500 values in T and each with value 200 Kelvin. Plotting this data, we get the required plot. Plot inside brackets T comma 2.0 divided by V. We can see two subplots of pressure versus volume and pressure versus temperature respectively. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned to create subplots and to switch between them. Here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve. Which of the following is correct? Subplot, bracket, number of rows, comma, number of columns, comma, plot number. Subplot, inside the brackets, number of rows, comma, number of columns. Subplot, inside the brackets, number of columns, comma, number of rows. And the answer is first option. The subplot command takes three arguments, namely the number of rows, number of columns and the plot number. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries on Python in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates the TBC project. Spoken Tutorial is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. For more details, visit this website. This is Usha from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.